uphill battle for Beast Coast, given the way that they have performed so far this stage. Dark Zero started the day in a better position than they currently find themselves at, but that's just because their peers happen to rise to the Dark Zero Silver. team. Very vocal player. Oh, oh my! No. NJR drops. Kills Doc. It's a bit of sloppiness. Reverse the first pick. His teammates, they can't necessarily Great act shot. upon it. Unless he just goes for a floor bang, I suppose. It works out because he's immediately back on his B. And now they're also inside the bomb side. Oh my. And Dark Zero right now stopping them every single step of the way. It's spiff. In a 1v3. Look at the... Rough spot. Now it's reverse to just encroach on this position, and he doesn't seem to know that Gavin is there. Now Gavin will go for the drop after NJR's been finished off. Rice is down for the count, and now Pamazu is gone too. It's Gavin and Canadian as the last two still upright. 15 seconds to go. Timer suggests that Rice will not be retrieved. And he goes down, Canadian goes Gavin, dropping one with Diffuser as well, but ultimately just too many players. Realistically, I mean, it's possible for them to make a crazy comeback, but you'd be so far oh, behind man. already. Gavin looking at Short there too because Injar could have helped the cross. Now they're just in because they get trench control. They can just stop planting here. That's what they're going to do. Mr. B finding a safe way for him to get that Diffuser down. Watched by both Doc as well as another player on the team of reverse. Doc doing so much work. Dark Zero only has Pambazoo left, who is upstairs, well off the beaten path. Nice shot on the Spiff, but he's given his position away. Yeah, we should have seen this in the very first match he played today. I don't know if you saw that he was wearing like a Balaclava. Doc, <laughs> continuing from where he left off in the previous round. His name, I imagine, we will be saying a few more times in this matchup. <laughs> it's the first kill. Near sightedness. I mean, it almost must be a headshot position here because, like, they don't have fibers control. Pembek is hat as well. So I don't know how the Beast Coast are going to get inside the bomb site. What I do know is it's going to be hard for them. There's a Flores drone that goes off as well, but doesn't do any damage. Might have taken some small utility out that we didn't see. Dark Zero standing pat, waiting these final 15 Thanks seconds. And Bazoo looking to the right, just a little bit at wrong timing. Canadian getting in on the fun this time. Down goes Spiff. Spiff unable to find the scoreboard so far, but Doc is still upright. All up to him in a 1v8 kills so far. There's been some finger pointing at the individual players on Beast Coast. Most obviously at Doc as he's lagged behind some of his contemporaries. He's no more as Gavin outduels him in a gunfight. Beast Coast goes down by one. Spiff enters. Gavini falls. Spiff could have a second as well, as he does immense damage to Panbazoo, but ultimately losing out. Panbazoo still has control from above. Oh, Mr. B blowing up the wall, and surprise, NJR's behind it. Losing that duel puts Beast Coast in a disadvantage. Reverse, equalizing the numbers. Not far off of this diffuser. One minute to go, both teams in a 2v2, but Panbazoo only on a tiny point of HP. This is a bad spot for the players of Dark Zero. Especially since it looks like the diffuser will go down once Hat can get in to go for the coverage, that is. Awkwardly round. And so far, it's still chaotic. The very buff of Ryan spends the kill to 2v1 for reverse. Diffuser going down. BZ being awfully patient with this. The value, the time that they've burned, and NGR, he could swing at any moment here, but there are so many members. There's a second in pocket, and Nate doesn't clear it. This is crazy, it's a YouTube game. Uh, NJR is going to get pressure from multiple angles right now. A drone will go in. Could be followed up on. Needs to watch the door. Needs to watch the mirror window. Sees one. Leveling Spiff. Two more to follow up as well. That TCSG, not as potent as it used to be, but still good enough to destroy people. Now Pambazoo coming in. He gets the cross on one, but Hat and Mr. B are there. Suddenly Beast Coast take the upper hand in terms of these kills and leave Canadian as Solus down. Watching. He knows where that bomb is going off, but he actually misses out on it. Now he's got information, can't stop it in time. Instead, reverse drops, and it's the first pick for Canadian in this round. He'll have the unenviable task of going up the stairs, making noise in the process. Pat will be watching that one quite intently. Mr. B won't be too far off either. Around the doorway, Canadian knows that. The one beautiful thing of the P90 is you have an endless amount of bullets. And a jump out from Canadian reads it well. 
But Mr. B. Hero drones. A cacophony of sounds. Oh, explosions and now Candela's reign supreme. Mr. B stealing the kill away from Panbazoo. All right. Obviously, no we see Hat and Reverse try to. But the position that they're in, it's not great. And it gets worse. And JR finds Hat upstairs. App, Hat and Doc, two of the unsung heroes of this team. Rough start for Spiff so far. He and Reverse are going to need to hold this one together as there isn't more than a small scratch on Pambazoo. Reverse gets shot looking in the other direction. That's a rough one to go. Spiff the Spaceman in a 1v5. Sitting on top of the bomb site, losing some of the ceiling over him to the buck. Now must reposition as players from DZ will approach from all angles. Easy for Spiff to get two members in the big window. I guess they want Pamba's nades here. Yep, it's gonna be a flash idiot here, followed by a nade. No member is closed, but does it pay off? Yes, it does. Great coordination. And this is the thing. If you just say, hey, there's a guy in this corner, I got flash means you got nade, let's work together. Mine scan has already been spent, but the plant, it will go down. The fuser in hand by Canadian. Rice on the coverage, down goes Doc. More members from Ooh. Beast Coast to trickle on in. Canadian has been stopped. Very successfully done by Beast Coast. Mr. B gets a little bit too greedy, wants the confirm, can't get it. All the while, Beast Coast numbers continuing to drop. Had an exit kill, needs to find three more. Players on Dark Zero unscathed for the moment. Same for Hat, but he's looking in a lot of different directions. Over towards the position by the fire arrows, used by Canadian to success. But Gavin gets baited in. Not before Hat dies to Pambazoo, and Reverse has been dropped as well. Spiff was guarding upstairs, he's dropped back to the bomb site. Mr. B shouldering a lot of damage in lobby. He sees Spiff, but can't get any help from him for the time being. No aid, no assistance whatsoever. Got it. Damn, that's now tough. you want to put the clash inside the bomb site. That's exactly where Mr. B went, but now might be rotating over towards oh those God. library stairs. Mr. B actually uh, managed to hit the entry of DC with the slow all even five of the stairs. So it technically worked out, even though it didn't. But what do you do now? We take him a clash. You can step away and do some damage, but no one can really follow you. Look at DC. They just dropped the side hatch. Oh my goodness. DZ taking the fight right to Beast Coast. Break their spirits. Break their noses. Spiff isolated over by Kitchen. Trying to keep his team in this game. Trying to push Beast Coast into a position where they can find their first point of stage two. But ultimately in a very tough spot. Three players from DZ will be waiting for Spiff to get towards that diffuser. And there we go. Uh, push the top four. And they're playing relatively far back. Reverse wanting to take this engagement. Oh. Loaded back. Okay. Scoots away. Down goes Pambazoo to Doc. Doc picking up a second kill. DZ unable to find their footing in this round so far. Timer continuing to work against them. Now it's Gavin in pursuit. There's a Capkin on the board, which means you need to constantly be looking down. Gavin exploiting a weakness, but not looking over towards the bathroom. Canadian in a 1v3. East Coast looking like they'll survive yet another round. Canadian does hold on to that diffuser. Proximity alarm giving him away. The jig is up for the team captain of Dark Zero. He's got nothing to find just yet. Waiting out the logic bombs, waiting out the EE1D. They fire back, hat trading some of his HP for a kill on the Pambazoo. I think most people would probably take that kill more often than not. Yeah. I mean, he's gonna have 16 kills, it's an important one at that. He's gonna spare Nick and Pocket as well. Look at this condition! Oh! He votes oh. over, it's a trade! Is there a follow up? Hat was nearby earlier in the round and he's still lingering. But DC, they're playing the bait game as well. Sacrifice, Hat. Gavin. Hat just gave his position away. There goes Spiff. Hat's gonna have to get to the bomb site mighty quick. He'll hit his own barbed wire as he goes up those stairs. Hat, a tremendously gifted player, as we have seen time and time again. Applying Spiff is actually three. recoverable. A 3v3. Dark Zero had the advantage. There goes Hat on the stairs. The patience for NJR being rewarded. Spiff being brought back to life is just a small portion of HP away from death. That means that all of this weight for this round and potentially for the season falls on the shoulders of reverse right now. An unenviable spot to be in. He's cool as a cucumber.
<laughs> holding this angle. Holding multiple angles. Even. There go the logic bombs and the last two players from Beast Coast. Their positions will be given away. Reverse, a big pick on the Canadian. Looking for another. But DZ are not getting active with this information. They allow it to go by. Gaining some intel, but ultimately deciding against going for it. Rice with the caliber-based destruction. Gaining the attention of Beast Coast. Beast Coast is in excellent position right now to swat away the last two players from DZ. Flashes go out. Rice jiggling away, waiting for the call. He walks in. Goes for the plant. Now all the coverage will fall on the shoulders of NJR. He's got one player, but Even loses the winning round. Which Beast Coast has won five. You're still dying. Which means that your job is going to be to waste time, get kills. Speaking of wasting time, all these candelas oh are going in to essentially stop these players oh. from Beast Coast. But it's a shootout that DZ comes ahead in. Mr. B in a 1v5 with Diffuser down and DZ.